Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us at the Getty Center. Is this an incredible day or what? Yeah. I woke up this morning in Detroit. I can assure you the weather is different. <laughs> this is just fabulous. My name is Ken Zube. I work at Ford Motor Company and the officer in charge of sales, marketing, and service in the United States. This is really a very special day for Lincoln at about this exact time in New York City. We're also holding a simultaneous event where we're uh, introducing uh, one of our exciting new products. So this is really cool to be doing it in LA, uh, the home of an incredible luxury market. And of course, like I said, the home of the Getty Center, which is there's no better fitting location to do this in right here. Uh, we're doing it at the Getty Center. This is the first time a vehicle's ever been introduced here. And we're very proud to do it because we're also the sponsor of the Herb Ritz LA Center uh, exhibition that's going to open tonight, LA style, excuse me. It's going to open tonight. They're going to have a huge crowd. And this is uh, the perfect venue to capture the energy of all these people who are coming down to see that significant social event. So our friends at the Getty Center were uh, very gracious and allowed us to come here and present to you tonight. So Lincoln is a very iconic brand in America. It's been uh, in the country for over 80 years and as you may well be aware, we are reinventing the brand. Not only are we reinventing the sheet metal and the powertrains and all the engineering behind it, we're also re-engineering the consumer experience, which is an equal important part for our luxury buyers. It'll take time, of course, but the journey begins another chapter today. Between now and 2015, we're going to introduce seven new or radically changed vehicles into the market. Seven new vehicles between now and 2015. Now, we also know that it takes more than sheet metal and great powertrains. It also takes an incredible consumer experience. And I want you to know that we're working, our dedicated Lincoln team is working on that night and day to bring that experience to the market. During the last 18 months, uh, engineers, uh, stylists, clay modelers, over 100 dedicated Lincoln people, people wake up only thinking about Lincoln, have been working on this product and subsequent products that you'll see come to market, as well as our sales and marketing professionals that will be bringing that consumer experience uh, to bear. So over 100 people wake up every day only thinking about Lincoln. Uh, these are people who are bringing a discerning experience because there's a lot of uh, competition in the luxury market and we're going to carve out a niche of those people with styling, fuel economy, some special innovations, and of course, like I said, the retail experience at the dealership level. So this is just one part of the reinvention that you're gonna see tonight, but I can assure you a very exciting part. We're going to do a couple of unique things that we're uh, 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 introducing today. One of them is going to be an online concierge service where you'll be able to talk online seven days a week, 24 hours a day to a real person, uh, whatever, uh, you know, the middle of the night or on weekends, and get all the information you need to know about the product, about the acquisition pro process, and about the ownership process. We're very excited about that. The other thing we're doing is we're going to launch the Lincoln Academy for our retail operations. And we're especially excited to uh, announce that we're going to be doing that in conjunction with La Clay Dor. And this is a world-renowned concierge uh, accreditation service. You may notice them at the finest hotels. They have the two gold keys. And uh, they are uh, certified, and they will be working with us as we develop the retail experience program. So it'll be an absolute world-class experience uh, with Lake Clay Door and our retail sales team. So we're very excited about elevating that experience to the level that's 100% uh, on with the product that we'll be uh, bringing to market very shortly. So we're not stopping there. There'll be other exciting uh, innovations that we roll out over this year and next in conjunction with our product rollout. So I'm very pleased today to have two of my uh, colleagues with me who will join uh, you right now in introducing the new Lincoln MKZ. First is Solomon Song. Solomon is one of our design leaders, and Solomon will, Solomon will come out and talk to you about all of the elements of the car from a design standpoint. And of course, 
what better center that is a way to do that than at the Getty Center. The next is Craig Schmatz, and Craig is our chief product engineer, and Craig will talk to you about all of the innovative engineering, powertrain, and interior uh, uh, aspects of the vehicle that we're bringing to market. So we've got uh, two of our product specialists. We'll bring out the car shortly and then uh, I urge you to come down and take a look at what we've got going on. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the new Lincoln MKZ. Thank you. the new MKZ. My name is Solomon Song, design manager for Lincoln. Um, as we embarked on this uh, design journey, we asked the designers, develop a concept car that you would want to drive, but it has to have something that really is sexy and seductive. And we actually said to the designer, you know, go even further. Add something that would literally be visionary and powerful and yet transformational. And what we try to do on this car and what we accomplish, I think designers did a fantastic job. If you look at the car, it's striking. It's very simple and elegant. From the front end all the way to the rear, there's not one line that we thought it had to be uh, mistakenly put on or somebody else wanted it on. We said no. If it doesn't have a function or, or reason, it shouldn't belong on a car. We said, let's, let's do a clean car and dynamic at the same time. Because when you see a statement like this, you'll remember it. Whereas if you see convoluted shapes everywhere, you're going to forget after a while. Another thing that really strikes me when I see this car even now is the silhouette. We worked so hard to get this silhouette right. When you see the silhouette, it's inviting. It says, come and look at me. It says, come and check me out. One of the things that we really wanted to do is say, hey, get rid of all the noise on the side and bring everybody into the interior. But before that, we had to actually overcome one, one thing on Lincoln. We said, we gotta develop a front end that's modern, and yet classic. And also, it's got to embody all of the great things that Lincoln did in the past, but bring it to the future. So later on, you can get a closer look at the front end. But the front end, even the plan view, we concentrated so hard to get that plan view just right. So that it's not boxy, but it's not ground also. And the Lincoln grill, this is the modern interpretation of the Lincoln grill. But we didn't forget the past either. The 1941 Continental Bawave Gray grill, we actually executed in a subtle way. If you look at the lower grill to the upper grill to the crease line that actually ties into the mirror, that's actually drawing from the past. That's actually the Bawave grill shape. But we didn't want to put it on the grill because that's the past. This is the future. And one of the things that we really strive to do on the Lincoln design team was Let's say you had a line like a cut line on the hood. It should disappear as a cut line that's designed in. So if you look at the cut line from the front, it'll go all the way to the door, all the way to the rear, and actually made up the deck lid. So it's just one single statement. And then the same with the shoulder line. It goes, in, it goes from the front all the way to the back without any interruption, any jog in the line. It's just a clean statement but we went one step further on that line. Most of the designers will just quit probably at just making that line constant, all the way to the back. But if you look at the front to the back, it actually goes from a sharp crease to a generous crease on the back. So it's signifying that we got a mechanical car, 
and yet it's an elegant car. And that plays out as a design theme all over this car. It's about combining two elements, two elements that's opposing one another. But we wanted to harmonize it, creating a new elegant solution to the design language. So if you look at the headlamp detail, we have a purest artistic headlamp, what we call the bezel. It's a silver element. We actually sculptured it. We said, what's the best looking artistic thing you can do? And we actually derive it that shape. But we also have to contend with the feature, which is the headlamp. But we wanted to use something more modern. So we actually took our LED headlamp, which gives us the small, minute, but it's still mechanical. So past solution would have been to combine the two shapes together, arriving at a shape that's convoluted, maybe too busy, uh, it's not artistic, it's not mechanical. What we wanted to do is separate them, but put them in a place where they can live together. And we enclosed that in a sculptural, clean uh, headlamp lens. It's like looking at an artwork. You're looking at an artwork through the lens. And also, when you look at the car, there's subtle features that designer had to contend with, like a design feature like aerodynamic, because, let's face it, gas is not gonna get any cheaper, right? So, on a solution, if you look at any other car that's trying to be fuel efficient, first thing they do is put a crease all the way down to the rear. That's the engineering solution, right? We have to come up with something better. So we actually have key points where actually air would separate, but we encompassed it with a line that continues. We work with the aerodynamic, aerodynamic engineers to come up with this shape in the back that would actually work as an aero feature. And also if you look at this clever disguise on our lower that encompasses our license plate, exhaust tips, that's actually where the air breaks. So it's a solution that actually works better for designers. And another thing about this car is the technology that freed us. A lot of the things that freed us was like the headlamp in the front and also the tail lamp in the back. Because it's LED technology, we had lots of freedom. We didn't have to have big tail lamps or weird shapes to meet the pro uh, problems. And for design elements, what we try to do is um, features that are not needed, it should go away. So. If you look at the mirror detail, we do have a turn signal, but we didn't want to disturb this pedestal. So what we did was, when it's not in use, just turn it off, go away, right? So we actually have a turn signal that disappears when it's not on. But features that are supposed to be on, we said let it be mechanical. Like the side reflex that's required by the law, same with the rear, let's be honest. Let's not cover it up in rear shapes. And that goes throughout the vehicle. But our design story does not end there. We actually developed an interior that's even better than the exterior, I think. Interior is just amazing. Mm -hmm. So when you open the door, you'll see that the door handle is just one piece that actually follows the crease line. But when you open the door, you have this A-pillar shape that invites you into the interior. And that shape, is developed by inspiration from a bridge, suspension bridge in Spain, Chibisuri. So that bridge literally inspired us to do something miraculous with the center stack. That's the same thing, technology freeing us, to, us designers to create something really elegant. So if you notice, there's no shifter. We actually got rid of the shifter in the middle. We placed it in the center stack. So that frees up our shape which is similar shape that is brought from the outside in, which is our swept back grill. And if you look at the interiors, it's really swept back, it's peaceful, it's inviting, it's calming. And inspiration for our instrument panel came from the manta ray. Manta ray is elegant, but powerful in the sea. When you see it swim, it's just graceful. Same thing with the interior. You're going to be driving this car and you're going to be living in it for a long time. We didn't want it to be busy. We didn't want it to be uh, odd shapes that you would just, you know, fight even with the traffic. We want it to be a calming environment. And you have to sit in it to 
actually experience that interior, actually see what we need. And later on, we'll invite you down here to look a closer look. Another thing that I really love about this car is that when we started this journey, we wanted to do something really cool, but we wanted to be a Lincoln, and Lincoln was just awesome. So for us, I think we achieved a lot of things, but the main thing that we achieved was bringing back the Lincoln. And what we summarize on all of these languages, it's the purest artist uh, design. And this design is gonna last a lot longer than most of the designs that are just designed as an afterthought. And for everything else that goes into the car, I want to introduce Craig Schmatz, our chief engineer, who actually made this possible because artistically we can draw it, but he has to make sure it functions. Thank you, Solomon. Congratulations, the car looks great. Thank you all for being here today. Appreciate you spending the time uh, with us going through the new Lincoln MKZ. My name is Craig Schmatz. I'm the chief program engineer for the MKZ. The all new Lincoln MKZ is a major milestone for us in the reinvention of the Lincoln brand. The advanced technologies we have in the vehicle, plus the unique driving character, will speak volumes to the new Lincoln luxury customers. Solomon talked about the exterior design, and it's not only beautiful, it's also 14% more aerodynamic than its predecessor, both form and function. It's a great job done by the design team. So the new MKZ, as, as Solomon mentioned, has full LED lighting both front and rear. On the front, LED headlamps are adaptive, which means that they're going to follow the steering wheel inputs provided by the driver. We also have down here a uh, signature lighting element that's LED. Everything up there is LED. On the back, we've used the LED technology to develop a very thin tail lamp graphic that's full width of the vehicle, which is the signature Lincoln element. We actually incorporated uh, LED backup as well. It's kind of hidden in the tail lamp. You can take a look at it when you, uh, when you come up later. One feature we're very excited about is a retractable panoramic roof. Unfortunately, it's not on this model, but what we'll have is it's a full glass panel, 15 square foot. It lifts up and slides back over the backlight to provide the largest opening area on a, on a, a sedan in the market today. Very exciting feature, uh, and I think that's gonna be a big, a big wow for customers all over the country, and especially here uh, in California. So, let's move into the interior. Press the start button, and the fun really begins. So, as Solomon mentioned, we do not have a conventional shifter on the center console. We have a push button shifter on the IP, and two forward gears to drive and sport. One of the things that I think is very important for this uh, customer is to provide a both refined driving experience as well as engaged driving experience. We did that through Lincoln Drive Control with continually controlled damping adaptive suspension. So with Lincoln Drive Control, what it does is orchestrates the performance of all of these features in the vehicle, the steering, suspension, engine, transmission, traction control, to provide that best balance of refinement and engaging driving experience. For those times when you really want a sporty, a further sporty experience, you can press S on the, uh, on the shifter on the IP, and that will uh, give you an even firmer ride and other driving characteristics uh, that will uh, be uh, for those people that want that, that even more sporty driving character at times. MKZ is also exceptionally quiet. We have standard active noise control, and what that does is it constantly monitors the interior cabin for uh, sounds that are objectionable, and it works to minimize those or eliminate those. MKZ offers also a variety of driver assist technologies, including adaptive cruise control with collision mitigation and brake support, active park assist, lane keeping assist, we also have the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. From a safety perspective, the new MKZ is the only sedan in its class to provide an optional rear inflatable seat belt system for those customers that want that. 
Under the hood, we've got three great new powertrain options, two of which I can't talk about today because we're going to reveal those in New York on Wednesday, but the one I can talk about is the Lincoln MKZ Hybrid, which you see in front of you today. We have a two-liter Atkinson engine in uh, the hybrid. Uh, we also have replaced the nickel metal hydride batteries with lithium ion, which are lighter and better performance. One thing I think is a great indication of the better performance of the new MKZ Hybrid is in electric only mode, the top speed for the current car is 47. We take that to 62 miles an hour in electric only mode. I think that's very impressive. Uh, we don't have the final fuel economy numbers for the vehicle, but uh, we're very confident that Lincoln MKZ Hybrid will continue to be America's most fuel efficient luxury sedan. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you uh, allowing me to spend the time talking about some of the advanced technologies on the new MKZ. And with that, I'd like to hand it back over to Ken, and you can close out the presentation. Yeah, thank you very much, Craig. Thank you, Solomon. Well, I invite you all to come on down. Uh, I can see the pictures being taken of the exterior, but as Solomon and Craig both said, the interior is a jewel to behold. So please come and join us, and I hope you stay for the festivities tonight. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful night at the Getty Center. Thank you again. Come on down.